A long time ago, Martha had cancer that wasn't found at the doctor's office. That was a little bump that her Sherlock just, like scratched her new. Her dog Sherlock found it after she got a clean bill of health. After Martha's cancer was cured and she got all better, she decided there should be better earlier tests for breast cancer since a woman could have it for eight years or so before a doctor's machine could find it. Someone in this picture has breast cancer. Imagine how I felt when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was only 21 years old and I had graduated the week before from college. In just one week, I went from talking about my future and interviewing for jobs, to moving home, moving in with my parents, and heading to my first of many doctor's appointments. I had felt a lump about six months before, but I was never sent for a mammogram. So by the time I was diagnosed, I was stage four. The doctors told me that I probably had this breast cancer for at least eight years before I could ever have felt it. Imagine how that must have felt. I had breast cancer when I was 15. I had breast cancer when I learned how to drive. And I was walking around and I didn't know about it. I was enjoying my senior year thinking that I didn't need to worry about the lump in my breast. Nobody in my family gets cancer. I was too young. I had a lot going on. I was too busy to have breast cancer. And even if I had been worried about it, there wasn't a test that I could have taken. There was nothing I could have done. Imagine hearing that you only have a 20% chance of seeing your 30th birthday. When for months you had been told not to worry about the lump in your breast. For months I had been told I did not need a mammogram. And then I'm told that I'm going to die. If I had had an early breast cancer test, I would not have to spend my life in hospitals. If I had had an early breast cancer test, I would be able to have children or grandchildren. I would be able to plan on going to graduate school because that's what I should be doing. But I can't plan my life past three weeks because every three weeks I'm sent for a reminder. Every three weeks, I spend an entire day at the hospital. And every three weeks, people get together in a room and talk about my chances of survival. We need to fund an early breast cancer test. If we do nothing else, make sure that every woman, regardless of age or family history, has access to knowledge, the knowledge of their risk, the ability to make decisions that are painless, that they can leave this breast cancer behind them and close that door. I will never be able to close this door. I have to travel this road every day now. One in every eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. 40,000 women 
will lose their lives to this disease. There are 250,000 women just in the United States, just like me, younger than 40 and living with breast cancer. If one in every eight women is diagnosed in her lifetime with breast cancer, I know that one of my best friends will be diagnosed with this disease. That statistic keeps me awake at night. I want my friends to be able to do something. I need an earlier breast cancer test so that my best friends don't have to face the same statistics that I am. Every young person should have their life in front of them. I'm not sure if I will see 30 years old or not. I'm not sure if I will ever get married or have children. But I need your help to make sure that my best friend has a chance and that other women just like you and just like me are given a fighting chance. We need your help to fund research for an earlier breast cancer test. They are still working, but Martha hopes we'll have a biological test for breast cancer when I'm big. Any questions?